What up guys? We pulled the Palisade in today because we are going to install a new trailer hitch we got from E-Trailer and it's supposed to sit flush there and I got the piece that comes out for the hitch here. That way when it's not installed the kids don't hit their knees on it or anything. So we're going to get started on that. Pull it out of the box. There it is there. Comes with the hardware taped up and I bought this extension piece here. I pulled the hardware off. It was taped up all come in a bag and then we have these instructions here it's got a good diagram it tells you all the steps it even tells you the size socket you need for your spare tire and the bolts and everything so that's pretty cool I've read some people flip a certain bolt that way it fits in between the frame rails in there so we'll see when we get there what we're gonna do. okay don't mind the mess we went on a road trip 2023 Palisade you got your spare tire, just turn this halfway, and then it pops that out. And I believe you loosen this, it's a 21 millimeter, and you loosen it, and I believe it lowers the spare tire, but we're going to find out right now. Okay, so unfortunately I did not record that. My son was up there ratcheting while well, I was down here, and basically when you turn that counterclockwise, it lowers this cable, lowers the cable out of this little motor here. And then I lifted the tire up and turned this sideways to get it off the cable. So going back on, I'll probably lower it some more so I can put it on, but really simple. Okay, now on the driver's side, I want you to pop out these body panels to get this tray out of the way. Pop one, looks like there's three of them. Three, so you have those three body bolts and then way up there you have two two nuts holding it on up there 14 millimeter all right so this part is probably the hardest part about the job taking off these rubber exhaust mounts i suggest taking them off from the car side because these uh, nipples or flares are bigger than the car side so i was able to get those off i use a jack stand to support it and then I lowered it on this cardboard box so I have room to work on it. You got to get four of them. One, two, three, four. It'll, you'll end up about halfway up the car. So we got one there, two up there on the right. You can see right there. Uh, three is right there. And there's the exhaust side. And then four is actually going to be about halfway up your car. Right, oh, I can see right there. And that one was pretty difficult to get off. All right, with that being said, it is time to install the hitch onto the car. Uh, we're just gonna hold it in place, put the bolts and nuts through, and see uh, how it hooks up. All right. I right, put that bolt through that hole, through this hole. This? Yep, do you see that hole right there? Yeah. Right there, put it through that hole. Push, push, there we go. It's not gonna work. Okay, shoot, I got it stuck. Ah, dang it. Ah, there we go. Okay. Ready, tight. Flip the juicy. So we got it slightly installed, finger tight. Uh, it doesn't matter which way the nuts and bolts go on this side. Like for the for the top ones, it doesn't matter if the head goes this way or the nuts. For the exhaust side, the side that the exhaust is, so the vehicle right, you want to have the nuts facing inwards because. If you do the head this way, it's going to hit that heat shield. And I've seen install videos or not install videos. I've seen write-ups saying you have to cut a little bit of this heat shield out of the way so you can get the head in. But if you just install it backwards, uh, it'll work. You just have to uh, only push a little bit of threads in. Uh, you just push it through a little bit where you see a little bit of the threads and you put the washer on and then you tighten the nut because if you can see, if I push it out any further, that nut actually hits the heat shield. But there's enough space that it'll fit in there. So I'm going to put a wrench on it and then 
tighten the other side, the threads will come through, but it's skinny enough it's not going to hit that shield. So that's the one advice I have for this. The rest, pretty simple. Honestly, the exhaust is the hardest. So I'm going to finish tightening those up. Keep going. Now that's got to be one of the coolest spare tire things. I haven't had vehicles with spare tires, so maybe they're all like that now. But super cool, super fun. <laughs>